Hey guys, this is Kaiser again, and we are finally going to finish our Black Mesa playthrough. Now here, as you can see, we have walked into one hell of an ambush with more of those um, huge mutated soldiers. Um, made a tactical retreat, and now we're going to test out our new gun on them. The one that just makes them go pop like that. This thing's amazing. Um, it's a shame you get it so late in the game and that it chews up so much ammunition, but see, they just go pop. It's amazing. Unfortunately though, uh, the ambush was kind of successful and we're only down to, yep, 20 health. Oh, and this here, um, that weird bug thing I had, that was uh, a new gun we got. It's basically the same thing that those mutated soldiers carry, it just shoots out these little homing insects. It's kind of good for just spamming, um, but it doesn't do much damage, so it's not really useful against those, those guys there, the super soldiers. That's what this gun is for. Oh, there we go. Nope. Terrible accuracy. There we go. Boom. And we're gonna rocket launch this guy in the face and finish him off with that SMG. Nice! Now I think we're done with this ambush. Oh no, one more. And taste my boom stick. Ha 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 ha. Uh good old shotgun. Alright, now, this I think is the final kind of coolant tower that we had to activate. I know I've said this a few times, but I really like the lighting effects in this game. Whether it be, you know, the green of the, the jelly, the radioactive jelly, or kind of the blue of this coolant. It's really neat. <laughs> it actually kind of makes me think of um, kind of the chlorine in a swimming pool and how that kind of lights up blue. Right, here we go, we've got to go through this long tunnel. Yep. And it doesn't look like we're getting any closer to the end. And we're probably going to start to drown soon. Did I turn around there? Oh, maybe I did. Oop. Loading the next area. Oh no, I didn't turn around. Here we are. This is where we need to be. <laughs> no access radiation hazard, you think? It's not as fun as swimming through sewerage, but, yeah. And here is... This must be what we were cooling. Big old reactor. Just making sure we didn't miss anything down here. Nope, it looks like, uh, yeah, we're supposed to go this way. Up that ladder there. Hmm. Okay. Maybe around the other side. Here we go. Climbing to the top of this tower. Okay. Whoop. One of those teleporting guys. Boom. This Magnum's great. It's able to one-shot most kind of humanoid enemies. Especially if you get a headshot. It's a great weapon. Unfortunately, you can't hold much ammo for it. So you've got to use it uh, carefully. Bang! Bang! Ha! <laughs> Go Clint Eastwood on their ass. Yeah. What would um? I don't know. Would Gorman Freeman be the uh, kind of scientific, pen pushing version of Clint Eastwood? I know. Instead of like the Wild West frontier, it's kind of the frontiers of science. I suppose that works. Go. Put this on. Wonder how we get out of here. Oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> That's not good. That's definitely not good. Hmm. I wonder if it's another one of those tentacle monsters. Ah, uh, let's suck. Nope. <laughs> Death lasers. Okay. Well, I guess that answered uh, how we get out of here. Oh, nope. Oh, those things do a lot of damage. Oh shit. Oh, not good, not good, nope. Oh, that sucks. Ten health. Um, we're probably gonna end up dying. I guess, we just have to time this very well. It actually took me probably a good four or five tries to get this done. Um, partly because I was impatient. Partly because uh, it was quite difficult because they throw those um, enemies at you. As well as, you know, you having to dodge the lasers. Here we are. Nearing the end of the game, this is probably the 
yeah, the last major puzzle in the game. Um, you just saw over there, there were all these weird platforms kind of shifting around. It's pretty funky, and here we are, and there's these crazy orbs. Seem to be orange ones and kind of green ones. And we've got a bunch of ladders. Hey! 100 power, excellent. Okay, what's down here? Uh, those things look like could bleh, look like they could squash me. That's not good. I don't think we want to go through there. Hmm. Here I'm. I'm putting off using these orbs. Okay, so it looks like we can't use the green one. In. Oh, that's not good. It's a trap. Okay. At least they go slowly. So it looks like even if we do get dropped in front of one, we might have time to sprint away. Hmm. All right. So the orange ones teleport you, and the green ones... Oh, well, the orange ones are sent, and the green ones are receivers, I guess. But that was what we were supposed to do. And through here... Hey! This section was hard, because um, each of the numbers corresponds to a different teleporter. I think somewhere in the facility there was a map which told you how they all looked up, but I just did it for charm. Labs, aren't you? Yeah. I recognize you. Yeah. Shucks. I thought you were the pizza man. <laughs> but I am the pizza man. I bring pizza for everyone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Like, um, if somehow you could build a replica of this and then you order pizza and you make the pizza delivery guy, like, jump through all those teleporters to deliver your pizza. <laughs> That's a little sadistic, actually. That would probably traumatize the poor guy. But it looks like there's not much we can do Might up here. Stick around too um, long, these guys obviously went through the teleporters as well like and they got kind of stuck here. We are. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we just follow the corridor, and there's another teleporter here. Oh, as well as lots of ammo. Probably means there's enemies on the other side. Uh, are you kidding me? It takes us back to the start. Fuck that. Now, after much trial and error, we're at this uh, place that we saw through the window earlier, and... Yeah, looks like it's going to be uh, platforming. Such fun. Looks really cool though. Like, I don't know, I just love it when there's lots of things rotating and moving. It's hypnotic. And uh, we just judge that and, oh shit. We get piped to the face. And here we are in the last part of the Black Mesa mod. Um, they haven't actually modded this, uh, yeah, in the original Half-Life game there's a level uh, where you go through this kind of interdimensional gateway that this scientist is trying to open up and you do some fighting on kind of the alien planet, but they haven't gotten that far in the actual mod, so this is more or less where the game ends. Uh, you fight some enemies and then you jump through this portal here and the mod ends. Uh, when they release the Steam version, which I assume you know will be the complete version, it'll have everything from the original Half-Life game. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for uh, Black Mesa. Um, I think if I ever do a future Let's Play, I'll definitely keep this format of just including sort of the most interesting bits, uh, or sort of the most action-packed ones. Uh, it makes the Let's Plays go a lot faster, and I'm sure that for anyone watching it keeps it a lot fresher and more interesting. So here, we have to wait till this guy powers it up, and then we have to fight off uh, while there'll be enemies that kind of teleport in. And we've got to use this, this crazy gun here, to pop them. I actually don't... Uh, it took me, yeah, probably three tries to make it through this, because the enemies are these crazy flying guys that shoot fireballs at you, and they just surround you very easily because they fly. And um, it's quite difficult. <laughs> There's one there. And they use... Uh, the arms for cover. You've got to hold out for, I think, maybe a minute or two. And I die just as the dimensional gateway opens up. <laughs> and almost falling to my death certainly doesn't help. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this series, um, and I will see you soon with some more videos.